everyone, this is Matthew at Das Trader. Today's video series will be about how to enter a uh, stop limit uh, on an open entry or a stop market on an open entry. If you haven't watched the video on how to enter stops correctly, there in that video I explain how to enter stops correctly after you've acquired a position. If you have an open position and you want to know how to set up stops correctly in high frequency uh, platforms that are NASDAQ Platinum certified, then you would, uh, you, uh, you'd need to watch that video uh, for that. This video series is not about that. All this video series is about is when you don't have a position. So for example, right now I have a position in, uh, in in Bank of America so I'm just going to quickly go in here and uh, just to, 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 to get good practice I'm going to do a marketable uh, limit order we just use the uh, the hotkey that we set up last time shift uh, 2 for that so this video series is not about setting up a stop for you when you have an open position this is for the situation when you want to send a limit order that um, is above the current trading price if you want to go long or below if you're trying to go short so as an example we would set up a condition first and then uh, put in the price so that's why we're using a buy stop limit or a sell stop limit to go short um, or a uh, sell uh, stop market to go uh, short or a uh, buy uh, buy stop market to go long and I'll explain you uh, I'll explain a little bit on how it works so we have our uh, demo platform and if you you haven't watched the video on demo I strongly encourage well it's, it's a requirement to watch that before this and, and, the, and the stop order video on how to correct stops basically it walks through all the setup how we arrange the montage and everything and uh, so let's say for example during market hours this video was made uh, in the after hours post market so um, I just want you to be aware that stops uh, regardless whether it's opening a position a new position or it, you're trying to put in your target and your stop using stop range which is the correct way to enter a stop for a, um, a position that you already have open but that said um, this is for I just want to make note that you only use stops uh, stops when the market is open because it requires liquidity if you just imagine for example a faucet in the kitchen and you turn on the faucet and you see the water pouring down that's kinda like the liquidity of the stock market how it is now when the market closes those guys with those um, pads at iPads or those tablets you see in their hands they're kinda like the wizards you know they they can push a button and they can create liquidity you know just out of thin air now those guys go home when the market closes so when the markets closed uh, in pre-market and post-market SEC which is the top of the food chain for all the securities businesses they have underneath them a watchdog called the FINRA and they set the rules um, for what kind of orders are allowed in pre and uh, post market so and they do that because there's no liquidity in the pre post market it's very dead it's kinda of like the wild wild west as they call it and so in order to protect investors against you know shaky price manipulation just kind of uh, um, really really bad liquidity prices that you normally wouldn't see uh, in a more I guess quote unquote um, uh, fair situation when the markets open they only allow limit orders so a stop because it acts as a trigger um, it needs liquidity so you just I just want to keep that in mind that the this video was taken at um, it's 1747 547 p.m. I'm gonna be showing these examples but these are only uh, because they utilize the stop trigger engine this, this has to be done uh, during normal market hours okay so that's really really important and then I also wanted to I spent a little bit extra time uh, uh, the purpose of this video this purpose of this video is not um, to use 
stop limits and uh, the stop markets um, for when you have a position. If you do that, um, you're basically um, you're 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 entering your stops incorrectly into a high frequency trading platform that's Nasdaq uh, Platinum certified um, because the routes everything is done in milliseconds, even less than that, and so the routes need to know that communication, and that's why we talk about in the stop order video how to correctly enter your stops this purpose of this video I just want to reiterate because I'm gonna we get a lot of these questions and sometimes there's some confusion we, we you know they may be listening to some chat room out there who's giving them you know incorrect information on how to use the platform and so we always ask you know, if you have questions if you have some strategy that's in your mind and you you say well can I do this um, you know uh, it's always good to check with you know uh, a NASDAQ Platinum certified the technology that you're using and to kind of ask okay well how do I this is my strategy is it correct and we'll tell you if it's incorrect or you know how to use the strategy how to use the uh, correct tools because once you have once you understand how to use the tools correctly then you can have the right strategy but if you're just you know if you go on a chat room or you go you know on some other place and they say okay well I'm gonna I want you to do this I want you to do that and then you come to the software company and the software company says no no that's incorrect that's just not how you know that's not how trading is is done and this is all you know with several years of day trading background and understanding and it took me um, quite a quite a while you know to to learn how high frequency trading platforms work because most of the folks are used to using other platforms that don't fall under the guidelines of high frequency trading uh, or NASDAQ platinum certified and there's only four uh, platinum certified by NASDAQ and why is NASDAQ important well NASDAQ is the father of the exchanges it's where the entire world for US equities where they send orders to you know they're the ones um, that decide on how uh, orders entries are are dictated and they're the, you know um, uh, it's really important to, to to be sure that when you're using the software that you're using it correctly I wanted to just talk a little bit about this because I think it's a really critical thing to understand is that um, uh, these video series were created to move away from all those you know the gimmicks of you know chat rooms and I want to do this and I want to do that and I want to do this and it's just um, it's just not uh, it's just not how uh, you know real life trading uh, works for example if I'm in a position um, I, you know I don't set up a stop market and then I set up another uh, sell um, a sell limit order right because it's high frequency trading so the platform has to be educated enough professional enough to be able to know this and so uh, what happens is when you set up a stop and then you set up another limit order what you're doing is you're setting up two sell orders and so you've already told the bank what your strategy is to lose money just you know that's my stop and then when they send the second sell order the second sell order becomes a short order right and then we we sometimes have you know sometimes we have uh, you know you might think you know there might be something else you may be doing always check with the software company um, uh, how to correctly use the tools I promise that if any of you are watching this video series and you're taking notes and you're putting all that information that you've received all that incorrect information that you may have received on the uh, you know it may have been misunderstood on the old channel that's why we're doing a new channel now or you may have been on a chat room and said you know this guy's doing this this guy's doing that well we work for the software company you know we're the we're the employees of the software company and I had to learn all this stuff with several years of day trading background so I don't say this you know just to you know share with you my my background and, and why the reason I just share with you the level of hard work and dedication and time and effort that it takes to understand a powerful system that's like this you know this isn't um, you you know these you know like those rubbish platforms like e-trade or e-signal or TOS that they just hand out for free you know for 60 days do whatever you want and you know sluggish Java programs this isn't that you know the way to look at the stock market is you can look at it as there's a father we call that NASDAQ and you can call them the mother for example NYC and so these two these two uh, bodies are uh, 
the essence of the US stock market where folks you know can send orders to so what they say and of what they approve of being that there's only four platinum certified platforms in the world uh, F10 Mixit, DAS and Goldman Sachs there is a whole lot of learning and I um, for example I came uh, from Scott trade uh, background and you know I had to leave all that you know the junk that I had learned uh, uh, about you know what I thought I knew about trading um, to what actually how much precision actually goes into the engineering the sophistication of NASDAQ platinum certified in accordance with high frequency trading and what I see more and more uh, we get some some of these questions that come into these live chats that I wanted to you know use this uh, medium to address it, is that it, it's better to um, learn all these mistakes in a real-time simulation and sometimes you'll have self-conflict because you you try to be following someone who's not using the platform correctly I get that that I mean that's probably really confusing right software companies tell you no you can't do it but this guy is done you know at the end of the day you just have to look at the facts and the facts are they don't work at DAS you know they they don't know how this they don't know how high frequency trading uh, platforms work NASDAQ platinum certified works they haven't worked um, with the software to know the rules to know to work with the developer so I encourage every one of you who's listening to this um, who wants to be a leader for yourself you know to be a leader is to to, to start learning uh, this platform correctly please and and so and it's all for your own good I mean it's it's all for you because the more you become more empowered of how to understand how the tools work then the faster you can grow and a lot of research there's been a lot of research and a lot of people have asked um, you know a lot of successful people he says how did you learn uh, these things so fast you know why does it take you eight months up to a year and you know there's some traders some eight years eight years um, they still they're still not sure on how to use the platform correctly and they're s still sending orders incorrectly and uh, how does that happen how do you how do you bridge eight years or 15 years takes to learn something versus one year and the secret is I'll tell you the secret is before you begin to learn something you have to when you're entering a new world you gotta forget everything you know about trading whatever you think you know if it, if it was if everything that you knew about trading was working you wouldn't be um, uh, you wouldn't be in a, in a situation where you say oh you know I don't uh, why isn't this working the way I expect it to work and that's the key word there you expect something so the mind is created um, I guess you could say an alternate reality that doesn't exist you know uh, and it's trying to conflict between what actually is and so a lot of this video series, all this time that I'm uh, devoting, you know, time that uh, I, you know, I set aside, um, is set is that so that all the the hard work, the time, the, you know, the grinding that I, you know, that I had to do with learning it from the developer, on how the platform works, and then incorporating that with the day trading background of how uh, orders are sent and and things of that nature and all the relearning that I had to do during that time I wanted to just make this video series where you, you know if you're really paying close attention and you're really learning this information that you'll that you'll absorb this hopefully I hope a little bit faster than what it took me right because I had to do the I had to do the organic uh, growing and I these video series you know they're they're probably not going to be more than 10, 10 hours of your you know of your entire life and that 10 hours sometimes you may want to watch something maybe eight hours you know seven hours uh, seven times excuse me or eight, or eight times where you ha have that information through osmosis just brought in and and because I take financial trading very seriously because I, I've been on the other side I, I you know I you know day trading is uh, it requires a lot of time and effort a lot of your life basically goes into this it is it's not much of a laissez-faire uh, business so with that dedication it really requires a lot of discipline a lot of time and effort to learn things correctly and uh, I'm just gonna stop 
uh, there you know that's going to be my um, speech and I hope that anybody uh, on the other side who's listening to this can see that there's a lot of uh, care and thought uh, being put in these videos and if you're really uh, paying attention if this is really valuable to you if trading is really valuable to you the mind will just zone in and focus on these things that I'm trying to explain and uh, that's really everything you do in life if if something if you see one person really really uh, uh, goes into something and you know learns it really quickly and someone else you know just isn't quite there yet it just means that the priority system the value system that you have currently at that point in time that inspiration isn't there yet doesn't mean that it can't you can't be inspired to to learn things uh, very fast and to absorb it it just means that underneath all that layer of the mind there is some other value system that's more important to you but I want you to just uh, uh, take this uh, as a question to yourself if you don't learn how to use the tools correctly how can you become profitable if if there's no um, for example, like I got to share with the If there's no first vision on the day one, day two, and day three of the price action videos that we send you on how, first how to get the vision, how can you have a strategy if you don't have a vision yet? So before I can just go in and uh, you know buy and sell stocks, I need to know who's in control here. Are the buyers in control? Are the sellers in control? If I don't know that, it doesn't matter even if I learn the tools, right? Even if I learn the tools, so there's a stepping, there's a there's a stepping ground um, that, for example, um, it's kind of like, um, you know, me saying I want to make I want to I want to make soup, um, but I don't have any water. You're gonna need water to make soup. So in the same way, before you uh, before you worry about you know the t the the tools and how to use them, which you'll get from the videos, is how to read price action and anyone who's a subscriber a paid member uh, either through interactive brokers or uh, real-time uh, uh, simulation is provided these uh, three emails and in those three emails one of the emails it has the day one day two and day three on how to correctly read price action so that you can see okay who's in control buy or sell and that way I can go ahead once I have the vision I can go ahead and build the strategies right so it's really really important that you, you build your own strategies and that's really critical here uh, you know some of them they're still sending uh, they're still you know having hotkey files with a stop market you know when, a, when you're in a when you're in a when you have a position open and you send a stop market what you've told the route is that you want to lose a hundred percent of your money because the next order you send will be a short and so this concept it's just it's not taught because all the old platforms are using the old you know rubbish you know platforms where that they're not they're not following the laws of how high frequency trading works high frequency trading I mean three four years ago they said something around 80 percent I think that number is a lot higher I think I think most of the trading is done probably around 94 95 percent by machines alone so we're talking in milliseconds so you need a platform that sends orders intelligently to be able to tell that route what your exit strategy is and you say well Matthew I just I don't know my I don't know my uh, I don't know my I don't know what my target is and, and I just ask you that same question I asked that question I says imagine if you were a, a trader at a large bank Merrill Lynch Wells Fargo or and you went to your 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 manager and you said uh, well, you know, we're gonna. I want to buy this, and we're just gonna put a ten cent stop, and I'm gonna just gonna use up everybody's all their pension, you know, their, their mutual funds, all the people's monies, and we're gonna just go in at this. And we just we don't really have a plan. We don't know what the risk and reward ratio is, but we're just gonna go in this blind blindsidedly and just start. So in real life, that doesn't work, right? I mean, no bank would give you a loan because your strategy is just that you're. You, let's say you got a ten cent stop on there. So the the reality that's what as trading platforms become more sophisticated, more advanced, you'll find that uh, they match up with how the real life decisions are actually carried out. So that's why we talk about this in the stop order video on how to correctly set up 
stop ranges where you tell that route hey this is my stop uh, stop and this is my target and if you don't know your your target then you can't know your your, uh, your stop and the reason is because you can't have risk without a reward it's it's a duality uh, in nature if you don't know uh, what your your target is and you don't know what your risk reward ratio is and risk reward ratio is everything in trading if you're if you're making an investment if you every single if you make 10 trades and each of those trades is at least 2 to 1 before you walk into that situation if you if you if you just make five winning trades you're you still come out on top so you know is there a high highly level level of engineering in place with nasdaq platinum certified absolutely is it is it is it easy no it's it's not easy to learn is it simple absolutely it's simple but because there's like i said a lot of incorrect information on just traders who haven't you you know taken the time to learn how to use it this information is just constantly being passed down and passed down and you know I know that this video was uh, to just talk about uh, stop limits and stuff but this is all connected to everything this whole discussion um, and these are just questions that keep coming up and keep coming up and I know that uh, you know that that this information for those who want to learn this thing correctly uh, to make the effort because without any effort without any time you can't be successful in anything in anything that happens and so we put in our time we put in our effort into things that are valuable to us we spend a lot of time in our life if you look at your schedule when you wake up in the morning until all the way at night you look at your schedule and you ask yourself a question what's the most valuable thing based on your value system right now what's the most valuable thing in your life right now and I bet you you can go in take a sheet of paper and you can write there one two and three and you know what number one is is because number one is what you spend most of your time on right nobody you don't need to even second guess it you can say Matthew I know it I know what my you know, I know what I spend most of my time on and that's my work right or it might be you know learning a, a, a trading system right and you can't do it with uh, you know someone who doesn't know how to use the the platform who's on some chat room and then also you know uh, come in and try to bring those two worlds together it just it just doesn't work like that and uh, you know it's just real life doesn't work like that you know and and so um, uh, just take all this uh, to, to heart and and I and I and I hope that uh, you see that when the value system matches up and we say okay well yes this is right now or you might say you know I just don't have time for this and I was really expecting to do this like something like really quick just snap my fingers and I would just ultimately know how to you know work in a high frequency trading environment run by 95 percent of the machines and we have a platform that follows the rules and regulations on the highest standards according to NASDAQ Platinum Service. maybe I don't have that time right now and you know maybe I have more time to maybe watch uh, you know a 20 minute chat room video uh, on incorrect uh, entry of orders and things like that you know then then that's that might be the reason that might be the area that may I be, maybe I need to focus on and say hey maybe that's the that's one of the areas that I can remove and say hey if I want to have better output right now I'm not having good output so if I'm not having good output on the results that I want on how to correctly do this so that I can be correct a hundred percent of the time and not just you know wing it and try to get by maybe some of the time and some of the time if something is correct if something you're you're using the platform correctly you understand the tools and you're following the instructions in these video series in these new video series I promise you it'll all be correct it'll always be correct but that 360 degree understanding it comes with time and investment and 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 investment is hopefully that you invest some time in yourself when you're investing in in the real-time simulation you're not you know you're putting yourself first uh, you're saying that you know my money's worth it you know my money's valuable to me before I spend real money at a brokerage you know why don't I spend some money on myself to figure this out because you know most people they spend maybe thirty thousand dollars a year and uh, they go to a, a, a university and they, the, you know, at the end of the university, some of the information they don't even know what they, you know, 
they learned or even the information they may have learned isn't even of any uh, any use to them uh, so you know twelve hundred dollars for example on the on the lowest package uh, is for one year is it any trader that anyone who's experienced as a trader will tell you twelve hundred dollars is something you probably lose you know in your first year trading or in your third year or fourth year it doesn't matter what year of trading you're in uh, you're gonna have losses so it, it's better to uh, put away focusing on um, PNL sometimes in the beginning and focusing on how these tools work you know push them to their limits see where those parameters are and that's why I spent a lot of time talking about the parameters is because that 360 degree understanding really takes a lot of different scenarios of when you can use it when you can't use it etc and things of that nature um, like these stops for example uh, you know I, like I wasn't joking when I mentioned that it took me about eight months uh, you know to understand uh, uh, how, how each of these stop types in in what scenario to use them um, whereas you know I can't just send a couple orders uh, two separate orders for one position maybe I could do that maybe in a you know on a lower end platform that might be selling your order flow etc but on high frequency trading platforms everything is sent direct so it has to be intelligent. Your orders have to be intelligent enough to tell them, "Hey, if this is really your your stop, what's your what's your target as well? Give me, you know, the routes going to give me that information." And that's done through stop ranges. So uh, I'll just I'll leave it at that. If you want me to, if if this was helpful to you, and uh, you know, you can send me an email at support at dastrader.com. Just let me know, and uh, you know, I I would love to talk to you more about. I think a lot of the trading. Um, has to do with a lot of self growth because once we clear out all the you know the wrong knowledge the past knowledge that you know that, that we've 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 learned that I've also uh, was used to in Scott trade etc but uh, when I when I came into this world it was such a world of a difference that um, I didn't have as much um, inner you know inner inner conflict learning I just basically said okay this is how you do it you know show me how to work the system and I just said you know uh, yes this is what I need to do that's it there wasn't no okay would I want to do it like this and I want to do it no it's it wasn't like that and I probably wouldn't have learned it as quickly um, as you know say someone who might still be you know several several years and uh, might still be giving the incor incorrect information so this is why uh, we invest time as a software company to try to make you guys uh, better traders out there to, and you can't be better traders until you learn how to use the tools correctly right and with a background in day trading to know the market rules to know how SEC functions and the rules and stuff I bring all this together for your own benefit there's no charge for any of these video series uh, this isn't a thousand dollars this is you know we're not charging a thousand dollars for this course I mean, this is literally free. This is probably on the order of a ten thousand dollar course, but it's offered to you free if you see the value of it. You know, if you see the value of it, then you say, okay, well, you know, you know, to use it, you know, you don't have to pay for this information. It's and the reason why we do this is because not that we, you know, we, we can't charge you, is that is that that's not what DAS is about. DAS is about empowering traders. And to use the tools and to advance and to become better and to and 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 to become above 95 percent. I guarantee if you if you, if your heart is in the right place and you watch uh, these video series and you forget about all the wrong information and you set that aside and you start learning this correctly, I guarantee you'll be above 95 percent of all the traders in the world, just hands down. There's no question about it. There's no doubt in my in my in my mind when I'm speaking to you about this. And uh, and so I just wanted to touch up on that really, really, uh, really quick. And so again, I just wanted to let's get back into this. Okay, so in a situation, for example, let's just get back to the original intent of the the series. And hopefully, a lot of that information you take that to heart and really, uh, you know, rewind it a few times. Just go through it because there's a lot of love in there um, that uh, I think that it will help raise. Um, this time and this uh, effort that you're putting in to learning this uh, platform correctly. 
Okay, so let's say for example it's market hours. I know it's it's six six o'clock because the the time that we're doing this video series is in the after hours uh, because you know during market hours we're we're we're, gen, we're we're busy and we don't we don't generally have time to make these uh, these videos for you. So just imagine for example that it's market hours and say for example you say that um, I want to buy something more expensive than what it is uh, than what it's currently trading. So let's say it's um, 10 o'clock in the morning or uh, 1 o'clock however you like and it's trading at 2316 okay and you say uh, Matthew how do I send in a limit order for 2380 right so uh, a limit order is at or better so if I send a limit order just a limit order with route selected as limit and I just put in 2380 obviously I'm going to be filled right away right because of the national best bid offer it's buy low sell high SEC protects you and exchange you protect now if, if you're saying oh I want to set up a condition first and once that condition uh, occurs then a limit order goes out for 2380 the, re the way I would do that is again this is only for uh, new entry orders when you don't have a position I select stop as my route and then for the type I select uh, limit and then for the trigger price I put in 2380 and then the price here I put in 2380 here so and then in the share you know I'll just put in like for example 100 shares or 300 shares however, however you like so it's really easy to remember um, uh, that if you want to um, purchase something more expensive you have to set up a condition first that's why we're using we're utilizing uh, the tools of the uh, uh, trigger uh, function in as, as the stop to uh, be able to uh, send a limit order well above that uh, scenario because a limit order by itself according to the laws of SEC is um, at or better so uh, 2380 and always remember whatever the limit price you want to put in you just put that uh, in the price field and you put the same in the trigger price that's it so that's the scenario then you say and then you and then you would just click buy okay now let's say you say well Matthew what if I want to uh, send a market order when it reaches 2380 okay so that's fine so I want to buy something when it reaches 2380 it hasn't reached 2380 yet but I want to buy it when it reaches 2380 okay that's fine so for the same way except for type we select market and then the trigger price we put 2380 so why do so why not uh, the, the the price field because this isn't um, this isn't a, uh, a um, a, st a stop type as a limit so w so when we select market dynamically the fields will change this will be grayed out that you know you don't use that so this means that when I click buy when that when that uh, when that price 2380 is reached a market order is immediately sent uh, to the market okay so uh, next question you might have is Matthew okay well this is for going long how do I let's say I want to go short on Bank of America and when it reaches uh, um, uh, 2240 uh, I want to I want to be able to short this and when it reaches 2240 I want a limit order to go out you say well, well that's fine you know you at your number of shares that you want stop limit and then the trigger price you would just put in 2240 and 2240 it's just the same number for the trigger price and the and the price field okay now I would just go in and uh, click short okay so once uh, 2240 is reached uh, then a limit order is sent to short this at 2240 now you have to keep in mind that when you're trying to short something you always check you can hover over this s over here which is right underneath the anchor symbol um, right next to uh, right next to the the size here to the to the right of it says an S or you could just click on it and just make sure you see a bunch of uh, zeros there that's just it's an easy to borrow uh, stock if you're uh, um, it's a, if, if if it's not shortable you won't see an S there or if it's SSSR um, you also want to make sure they still have shares to short uh, you can short on SSR short sale restriction but you just can't short on the bid you know you short on the ask but again even if you're shorting on the ask you have to make sure that there's inventory for that and one way you can do is you can always click once in this area and you'll get a pop-up message with some information 
or uh, you know you can hover over it to see the uh, the amount of shares that they have in the inventory to short. Um, so that said, uh, let's say for example you say, well, when it reaches 2240, I want to be able to send a market order, you know, because I understand that limit orders don't guarantee a fill. That's the trade-off, right? Using the uh, limit orders and the market orders. Otherwise, everyone would just say, you know, I want this price and that's it. So there's a trade-off because the limit will affect uh, your uh, whether um, you'll fill or not depending on the liquidity at that time. And the liquidity um, is not related to volume. We get a lot of these questions. We get some, some folks that may think volume is related to liquidity. No, when we mention liquidity, we mean the size, you know, the bid and the ask size. So the supply and demand, right? So let's say I'm going to a market and I want to buy a bunch of grapefruits. I want to make sure that the shopping mall that I'm going to, the grocery store that I'm going to, has the amount of quantity that I'm trying to make. And it's not just me going in there, right? There may be other people going to that grocery store and buying a whole bunch of grapefruit. So I want to make sure that there's a lot of uh, liquidity centers that have uh, a lot of baskets, however you want to call it, uh, with those uh, lots of lots of grapefruits and generally uh, uh, as you know just e experience in trading the more you spend time with trading you'll be able to read level two and you'll say okay well that's a you know shark tank that's you know you'll, you'll, you'll get in but it's very hard to get out at, at profit so you may you know move into a little bit more stable companies uh, with plenty of liquidity on the bid and the ask and that's just you know time and experience and, and whatnot um, so you may say, for example, when it reaches 2240, I want a market order to go out because I just I don't want to I want to get into that trade. I don't want to uh, be picky on the price, right? So that's 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 the way you would use um, to enter a new order. Uh, when you're entering a new position, you would enter in uh, a stop stop market, right? So here in the same scenario, I wanted to be short. I don't want to short here right now because um, uh, I want to set up a condition first when it reaches 2240 then go ahead and uh, get me out so I'm going to click short there and you know that would be how to send uh, the order again just want to reiterate these are stops you need the market to be open I'm just doing this uh, during after hours so we're doing a demonstration um, and uh, just something to be aware of and uh, sometimes um, um, what, 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 what helps me, I know everyone has a, a different learning style, is uh, there's a lot of wealth of information in these videos um, that has um, been uh, tried and tested and, um, you know, life experiences of, you know, just day trading and then coming into this, you know, high, high engineering, high level world of NASDAQ Platinum Certification with high frequency trading that I'm just putting it all there in a very comprehensive, very dense uh, information. So if, if, if you want to uh, watch this seven, eight times, more power to you 12 times, you know, every time you, every time you learn something uh, correctly and you, you're, you're on the path to learning it correctly, you, you add more value to yourself and you become you become a better trader for yourself so you're it's it's kind of like a stock you're you're kind of like a company right you you're investing into yourself now i can invest the wrong information for example if somebody has a chat room and they're on some youtube channel or something and they're just teaching incorrect i can invest that information and i'll get that i'll get that output or i'll get those losses or i can start you know listening to the correct information the software company and say, okay, well, how do I, I put in, I'm putting in the correct information, and that way I can get better returns, right? Because uh, I'm not going to, uh, this video series is, is not about when to buy and when to sell. You know, that's the price action videos that you're, you, that you're going to have to practice drawing support resistance lines and knowing. The return I'm talking about is that when you learn how to use the, pro is that when you're, when you have the right tools in mind, you'll have the right strategy in mind. But when you have, um, when you have the wrong understanding of the tools, you'll get a lot of wrong strategies. And there's a lot of wrong strategies. And that's why this, this entire video uh, series channel was created. Uh, because to do a good job of explaining how to use the software correctly, according to DAS's, uh, um, uh, rules of their own software uh, in accordance to what the father, you know, NASDAQ has deemed to be the highest approved um, 
in line with high frequency trading and underneath their platinum certification world uh, that, that we're living in and, and we're living in this world uh, that we just the, you know knowledge is power and uh, and this knowledge that we're sharing with you is just so is in line with our um, our, our value at DAS which is to empower you uh, you know my job is to make sure that these videos are out there now for you to uh, to do it. but the the second thing is is that effort and that time you know is that that inspiration because motivation there's a lot of talk on motivation and motivation um, this and, and that sort of stuff and how do I get motivated you know if you if you really um, if this isn't a fantasy if this is really something you're serious about about using DAS you'll be inspired just generally to and just you know try to learn as much as you can correctly but um, like I said there, there's always going to be self-conflict when you're learning something incorrectly uh, from you know an outside source and you're you know you may be coming and you say well what's going on here you know it's a little bit different well you know we can not control you know what people put out there but we can control what we teach right and so this here we are and uh, I'm really hopeful that um, I think this is probably uh, is a little um, more in-depth video than the other series but just generally uh, on a guide um, and I didn't and I didn't want to put this video on on stop market and stop limits because just generally you professional traders generally um, uh, uh, they you know they don't do that because when you when you set up an open order for that kind of that kind of order that eats up a lot of your buying power and so you're you're hoping for something that hasn't occurred yet and when you're for example watching this thing like an eagle like a hawk um, and it's one position at a time right because it's it's money on the line and you want to um, get in when if, if if it does break because sometimes you know um, you want to see how price action behaves when it gets to that level and you may not be ready to uh, to go in situations may be different right what I think about right now it, it's it's hindsight you know 20 minutes ago it was hindsight um, and and so in the same way in trading is generally um, you don't want you know you you want to uh, the videos for example how to set up an alert and uh, you know uh, send out a market order those videos have been covered but for this particular reason I understand that there are some traders that may uh, want to and I guess you could just look at this video series um, as a way to um, just kind of uh, you know getting into that whole 360 kind of picture it's there if you know you need you you want to use it right but uh, just I, I think personally and, and most uh, you know uh, uh, large institutional traders uh, they it's just generally not a good idea to um, hope for something that ha first hasn't come yet and uh, and to use use the time and use the BP for something that is right now right to always be ready to, uh, to go in um, and, and engage so uh, the order of these series of these videos is very methodical um, that's the reason why I didn't include it in the in the previous uh, videos but because there are some questions of some traders uh, who say well I may want to get into something until it breaks out and uh, uh, you know I, I've expressed um, uh, some of the reasons why uh, not to do that and uh, it's you know it's it's up to you of, uh, uh, to, to do that and and that's the nice thing about the real-time simulation is that you kind of go through um, uh, these uh, these scenarios and uh, in a real-time simulation where you know you can actually uh, you know sweat this out and go through the uh, um, the life cycles of of trading of different uh, tools uh, and what they're and and with the right strategies, right? So, um, if this is your strategy, then this video series um, would be helpful to you uh, for being able to enter um, into, um, let's say, a limit order or a, a market order when that price hasn't been reached yet. And that's the reason why we're setting up a condition uh, first. And uh, okay, well, I hope that um, this video series. Um, has been helpful to you. Um, a lot of love has has gone into this uh, video series, and I, I hope that this has been uh, uh, help to you. And uh, 
Thank you, and uh, have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.